Man, it feels good to be outside. Spring is finally here. Feels like winter took forever to pass. Today I have an outdoor review of the otter from Caribou Lodge. Let's go ahead and talk about the yo-yo. All right, first off, I'm gonna tell you guys, this yo-yo is a beast. It's definitely one of my more favorite yo-yos right now. I've been trying a lot of different styles of yo-yos at the moment. The otter is one that I've been picking up a lot more recently just to play for fun. So let me run through a quick overview of the specs of this yo-yo. The diameter is 53.89 millimeters. The width is 44.95 millimeters. The gap width is 4.62 millimeters. And this guy weighs 66.35 grams. The material that this is made out of is 6061 aluminum. This colorway is the Harrison Hurricane colorway. I missed my chance on getting the first run of the otter. The first one was just a bunch of solid colors, but I'm pretty happy that I was able to get the Harrison Hurricane colorway. As far as how this yo-yo plays on the string, I would say it's definitely a floaty yo-yo. It kind of feels a little heavy. This yo-yo was inspired by the Orca. There is definitely some similarities in shape comparing it to the Orca. I did have the Orca at one point, but I decided to give it away. It wasn't my style. It felt too clunky. I just didn't really like it. It was very slow. It wasn't my style of yo-yo. But whatever tweaks they made to the Otter is definitely awesome. I really enjoy this yo-yo. So I have been playing back to back with the Chief and the Otter. So here's just a little size and shape comparison first. The Chief is a little bit bigger in diameter and in width. The Otter is slightly bigger. Now the Chief has always been a staple in the yo-yo community. For me it brings a lot of nostalgia and a lot of memories. For those of you who don't know, I have recently picked up yo-yoing within the past couple months after a six, seven year break. The Chief kind of has a more competitive feel to it. It definitely feels a little bit more quick than the Otter does. The Otter kind of feels like a an organic yo-yo in a competitive body. That's probably the best way I could describe it. It's just super fun, floaty on the string. It's definitely not the fastest yo-yo on the market, but you can definitely do some quick tricks with this. So I also did compare the boy to the otter. Let's go ahead and compare the shape of the boy versus the otter. In diameter, the boy is a little bit bigger. And in width, it looks like they're pretty close to the same. The otter definitely has more curvy shapes to it. The boy is definitely a lot more rigid. So comparing the otter to the boy, the boy is definitely lighter. And I believe that the specs, according to the specs, I do believe that uh, the boy is lighter. The boy does play very floaty, but I think due to the heavier weight of the otter, it just feels a little bit more floaty than the boy. So really what I'm trying to say is if you like yo-yos that are floaty and they have that kind of organic type feel where it's fun, then this yo-yo is a good choice for you. As far as the return catch on the yo-yo, it definitely feels very comfortable when throwing. Your middle finger kind of stays in that gap there and your pointer and ring finger naturally just sit on the sides of the rims. Now, one con I do have with this yo-yo is nothing to do with the play, but it's to do with the production. Whenever I receive this yo-yo straight out of the box, I check to make sure that there weren't any marks on it or any dents, anything. I just check to make sure that there wasn't any damages on it. And I did find one small tiny red mark right next to maybe some glue, I don't know. But I will show a video of that right now.
So for me, that's not a huge deal breaker, but whenever you're spending $90 for a yo-yo, you kind of want it to be free of any blemishes. Especially if you're a collector, you're definitely not going to want a mark or anything weird on your yo-yo as soon as you get it. Now, I'm not saying this is going to be the case for every otter out there, but that's just what happened to my yo-yo. So maybe it was just some bad luck, I don't know. Other than that, it doesn't affect the play, so I'm good. So as I mentioned before, this yo-yo is definitely a floaty yo-yo. So if you're not into that, then this yo-yo might not be for you. But who knows, maybe you might like it. As far as finger grinds go, they were pretty stable, pretty easy to do. Thumb grinds were also pretty easy to do, no problems there. Although the lip of the rim of the yo-yo is slightly angled kind of like upward. So you kind of have to like angle your thumb, you know, down a little bit. Other than that, it's not too much of an issue. Magic. Now for anyone with questions of what string I'm using, I am using the Kitty Fat string. So if you have any questions of if this yo-yo can work with Kitty Fat, it can definitely work. You're covered there. <laughs> Whoops, we've got a fatality. Help, <laughs> help. As far as horizontal play goes, this yo-yo is definitely stable for it. You can definitely pull off some crazy combos with, uh, with horizontal play. So if you're a horizontal player, then this yo-yo could probably work for you. So like I've said already, this yo-yo is pretty fun to play with. It's definitely got a floaty, fun feel to it while not really sacrificing too much on the competitive play side. So the Otter is priced at $90 for the solid colorways. If you want to buy this yo-yo for yourself and test it out on your own to see how you like it, I will leave a link in the description down below. So the question is, am I going to keep playing with the Otter? The answer is yes, I am going to be keep playing with the Otter. It is definitely one of my favorite throws at the moment. As I've said before, I have been testing out other yo-yos and whenever I have free time and I just want to chill and play some yo-yo, I definitely go for the otter. Whew, I'm running out of breath. <sighs> Anyways, awesome, awesome yo-yo. Super stoked that I got it. Yo, if you guys liked this video, be sure to like the video down below. It would really help out a lot. If you guys want to see more content like this, more yo-yo reviews, unboxings, content for Ken Dama, Beglery, what have you, skill toys, go ahead and smash the subscribe button down below. Do it for me now. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll be notified for every upload in the future. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.